Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about my experience with my CR10S 3D printer from Creality. It's not very a nice experience, but hang around uh, and let's have a look after the intro. So first I want to apologize for this video beforehand. It's going to be a rant about my experience with Creality. Uh, I know a lot of people have uh, had good experience with Creality printers and I'm not saying everything from Creality is terrible or it's a bad company overall or anything like that. But I want to show you my experience so you can uh, make your own judgment on if this is a company that you want to buy products from or a product like this CR10 printer is something for you. Uh, I had a very bad experience and like I said I know people have had uh, good experience with Creality products but um, I want to tell my story. <laughs> uh, you might have seen on my channel uh, quite a number of videos on my CR10. Uh, I did uh, a lot of upgrades and uh, fix videos doing something that would make the printer work in a better way for me. Initially I had uh, the printer not working out of the box. I'm going to show you the state of the printer now. It's in a box. Um, this is as uh, working CR10 as it was in the beginning, as in not working. So as you can see in the box it's just a piece of parts. Um, they work in no way together <laughs> like this and that was the same when I got the printer. It was in no working condition. Uh, it was simple to uh, put together the few parts that needed to be put together, but uh, it's quite a list of problems. Uh, I wouldn't expect everything to be perfect from a printer like this. It's a relatively cheap 3D printer from China, although it cost me uh, almost 600 US dollars to, to buy it and ship it to Iceland. And with uh, local tax here in Iceland, it uh, was probably costing me approximately 1,000 US dollars in total uh, shipped and packs tax added. So it was a bit of money for me to, to decide on buying this printer and getting it here and having it, so many problems with it was quite frustrating. But uh, I listed up all my problems I had with the printer and I'm going to show you a Word document uh, with the list of problems and also I'm going to show you the initial communications I had with Creality. Uh, what I did was uh, post a picture and a comment on, on Twitter with uh, a list of my problems with the printer. And I tagged Creality in that post. Uh, they did not respond uh, in any way. I then sent them a private message uh, saying that I was going to do a video on my experience and I wanted uh, an official response from Creality on my experience if they had anything to say about it or if they would like to uh, get some message out to my viewers. I was not uh, asking them to send me a replacement printer or anything like that and you will see that in the in the communication. but. Uh, what I had uh, after that uh, Twitter message, uh, I got a response on the Twitter thread saying I should send an email to their support and they would fix my issues. Um, so I did. I sent an email to Creality Support. Uh, I got a reply from some person there that had no idea about anything that happened on Twitter. I wrote that uh, because the Twitter account asked me to send uh, an email, I sent them a copy of the message I had on Twitter and, and the problems. Um, that uh, help desk personnel or, or whoever that was responsible had no idea about the Twitter communication. Uh, I sent all the Twitter communications uh, to that email. I also sent messages uh, to the Twitter account asking them to talk to support and make sure they had all, all the communications on their end. And, uh, then I got a reply uh, from Twitter saying they got a lot of email and it probably just got lost. Uh, what, what email did I send? Uh, like they had no idea about that I was sending them email. I, f I found that 
uh, a little bit funny. Uh, I told them what, from what email address I was sending the message, and then I got a response from a second person in, at their support center or whatever. Um, they had no idea about previous communications. Um, that was uh, like the third person I was talking to. Uh, I sent back all my communications with previous email and Twitter messages. Um, this has been going on for over a week now. Um, at the current state of email, I'm at the fourth person um, saying, what's the problem? Can you send me um, a description of the problem so we can try to help you fix it? Um, I said in the comments and in the Twitter thread, I'm not going to fix this printer. I'm taking it apart because I don't like it anymore. So as every person that comes into the communication line has no idea about previous communications, everything is sent to the same email address to the Twitter account. So my experience that nobody is reading the messages I'm sending them. They are just treating me as a customer with a small problem that they are going to try to help me with. Uh, that has not been helpful in the situation when I'm asking for reality statement on my experience overall based on the list of problems I've sent them. And so far I'm not getting any uh, logical response from the, their support or Twitter account. If something down the line happens in that regard, if they will make an official statement, I will probably post that on Twitter so you can see on my Twitter account uh, I update if you like. Uh, if that happens, I'm not very hopeful that they will make a final statement or, or suggest anything. Uh, quite a number of people on Twitter has uh, replied to me saying Creality should send me a new printer. I haven't been asking for a new printer from Creality. If they decide to to do that, that's up to them. That's, I will test out that printer and if I have a good experience with that printer, I'm sure going to do videos on it and, and tell you about it. But um, I'm not really asking for a new printer. It's not about that. Uh, I can just buy whatever other printer I need. Uh, but uh, I wanted to give them a chance to reply to, to you guys, my audience. On, on my experience. So I think I have listed all the communication I had both with email support and uh, Creality Twitter account. Uh, at this point uh, I'm thinking about just giving up on Creality. Uh, like I said, if they are going to respond in a official manner, I will post an update, I put a uh, link in the video description to our Twitter uh, post or something like that. So I will look at, at the comment or, or a description in the video. Um, like I said in the beginning, I'm not uh, saying that Creality overall is a terrible company or they make terrible products overall. I'm just one of the guys that uh, got a very bad copy of their Creality CR10S printer. My problem with the company is how they handle support requests and communications. Um, this is something that uh, you as a buyer of 3D printers have to know about. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat a product I buy or get sent. Uh, I'm going to just tell you my experience. It was uh, initially my goal with this channel to document and share my experience with 3D printing. Um, this printer has been a very negative um, experience for me and I wanted to give you a uh, full uh, full exposure on that experience so to speak. I previously been trying to be positive about this printer using problems as a chance to do upgrades or fixes and do videos on that. But overall as you can see from the list I posted on screen it's quite a number of problems. Uh, with all the upgrades I've done uh, of course I've, I've got some views on my videos and comments and awareness. Uh, it's not a bad thing necessarily overall. 
Uh, this experience has been positive experience as well, uh, doing upgrades. I, I love to do mechanical upgrades on, on stuff. I learned uh, to use Marlin firmware and customize for Marlin firmware. Uh, I've done a lot of Fusion 360 projects, designs with this printer and that's a good thing as well. So don't t take it like I'm furious about everything. <laughs> I don't uh, want to be that uh, guy just trying to kill off reality. That's not the purpose of this video. And what you can take from this video maybe is uh, to do research on companies that you decide to deal with. Um, if you uh, just see the nice prints post on Facebook and, and Twitter and, and such from printers, uh, it doesn't necessarily tell the whole story about the customer experience. So look out also for comments on negative things to make your own decision. For me, uh, this experience has uh, made me believe Creality is not able to support its users. Um, quality control in manufacturing is, is not acceptable. Quality control in, in their assembly is not acceptable. Um, uh, this is something that I don't necessarily see Creality would be willing to do something about because they are not responding to my messages. Um, if you think that's unfair, uh, you can say that Creality has shipped so so many printers that are working quite well. That's fine, but this is my experience. It's it's not gonna change anything in my regard. That thousands of users have good experience. My experience does not get any better by knowing users have had good experience. But that's a uh, the problem with quality control, uh, some people are lucky, some people are not lucky. I was one of the not lucky ones, and um, that is my uh, situation. Uh, but I think this will be uh, the end of this adventure, <laughs> Creality CR10 adventure. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna do any more videos on this printer, as you can see, it's uh, just a parts bin. Probably some projects I can use, like the stepper motors and, and some other stuff. <coughs> but all the specific hardware for this printer, this is just gonna be in a trash bin. Uh, there's a lot of screws that I could probably use. Um, this spool holder, not so bad. I can wall mount this or, or do whatever. Uh, the power supply I have, this is a Meanwell power supply I, I bought in the phase where I had uh, the problem with the uh, power supply. Uh, there's a list in the problem list I showed on screen. I had a faulty power supply and I initially modded a ATX PC power supply to use for the printer. And then that was an external part. And I didn't want to have a, the control box with an external part hanging on it. So. I bought a Minwell power supply while I was waiting for Creality. Uh, initially, the seller light in the box refused to send me a replacement. Also, Creality refused to send me a re replacement. Um, not until I did a PayPal debut, uh, light in the box agreed to send me a replacement power supply. But uh, that took uh, over 10 weeks to finalize. And in the meantime, I, I use this power supply. It's just a meanwhile normal uh, 350 watt power supply. I'm going to use this for some project. I'm not going to use the Creality board. I think the stepper drivers are not very good. Um, so the, the cables and whatnot probably can use some of those. <laughs> but uh, uh, all the extrusions, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of uh, custom holes in it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for anything, but uh, I think this will be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please subscribe and ring the bell and leave a comment. I would love to hear your experience with Creality products on, um, especially maybe on your experience on Creality support. If you had problems, were was support able to uh, send you replacement parts or help you? Uh, did they treat you okay? What, what was your experience? Uh, let me know in the comments, but for now I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.